it's hard. You know, we've got we've got a lot of local folks on staff here, as you can imagine, and so. Uh, there's not another state park around the corner, so finding a solution for, for folks is, is going to be a challenge. It is a huge talker online, and we first told you about it last night. Fairfield Lake State Park suddenly planning to close at month's end. Not everyone's too happy about that, but the energy company that actually owns the land says it's time to sell. 25 News reporter Andrew Lamparski leads us off. I hate to see any parkland going away. It's the first and last time Mike Fluche will make the two hour trip to Fairfield. And then yesterday I saw that it's closing at the end of the month and I'm like, man, I got to get out here now. The clock is running out on the park as the landowner terminates the state's lease after 50 years, leaving many desperate to stop them from selling it. Yeah, this park has, has grown me personally. It has grown my career. Um, it's it's given me a lot. Park Supervisor Daniel Stauffer is on his sixth year in Fairfield. He's hoping something can be done down in Austin to keep the property public. This is their this is their state park. You know, this park belongs to the people of Texas. It should. Um, so they're upset. They're upset that they're not going to be able to come and fish in their favorite lake. Uh, they're upset that they're not going to be able to come and camp on their favorite campground. The park says there's about 80,000 visitors to this lake every year, and that number keeps growing. From the lake itself. Just kind of a special place and have a lot of great memories out here. To social media. You've got millions of Texans who, you know, can make use of this public park here. We had a feeling it was coming, but we kept holding out some hope. People are turning to state leaders, asking them to find a way to stop the sale. It's just a shame that we're going to lose a park. All of them wondering if there's still time before the sun officially sets on the park for good. Andrew Lamparski, 25 News. Now, Vistra, the power entity that owns the, the land, telling us today in part, quote, in 2018, we informed TPWD that we intended to sell and encouraged them to submit a bid. We entered into a contract in early spring 2022 with a potential buyer, and we honor our contracts and our commitments. Vistra says it extended selling a few times, trying to give the state a chance to make a bid. That never happened.